Hello plant fella. Welcome to Uvanisca El Floro YouTube channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of exotic plants. Today we're exploring one of the most extraordinary members of the Amorphophilus family, Amorphophilus decasilvi. Native to the dense rainforests of Indonesia, Amorphophilus decasilvi, also known as the crown of the forest, is renowned for its stunning and unique characteristics. This rare plant is a true gem among tropical flora. Let's explore the anatomy of Amorphophilus decasilvi. The most striking feature is its inflorescence. Emerging from the ground, the towering spadix is enveloped by a large, vibrant spathe, which can vary in color from deep maroon to greenish yellow. This dramatic floral display is not just a visual delight, but also plays a crucial role in its pollination. Unlike typical flowers, Amorphophilus decasilvi relies on beetles and flies for pollination, attracted by the plant's unique scent. This fascinating interaction between plant and pollinator highlights the intricate balance of rainforest ecosystems. Now, let's witness the plant's life cycle. Amorphophilus decasilvi begins its journey as a dormant tuber, resting underground during the dry season. As the rainy season approaches, the tuber awakens, sprouting a single leaf that can reach several meters in height. The growth cycle of Amorphophilus decasilvi is a testament to nature's adaptability. From dormancy to full bloom, it undergoes significant transformations. The tuber stores energy during dormancy, fueling the rapid growth of the leaf and eventually the inflorescence. For those interested in cultivating this botanical wonder, Let's discuss some essential care tips. First, ensure your soil mix is well-draining yet retains moisture. A combination of peat, perlite and organic compost works well. Amorphophilus decasilvi thrives in filtered sunlight, mimicking its natural understory habitat. Watering is crucial but requires a delicate balance. During the growing season, keep the soil consistently moist but avoid waterlogging, which can rot the tuber. As the plant enters dormancy, reduce watering to prevent the tuber from rotting. Even experienced growers can face challenges. Yellowing leaves might indicate overwatering or insufficient light. Adjusting these factors usually resolves the issue. Pests like aphids and mealybugs can also pose problems. Using neem oil or insecticidal soap can help keep them at bay. Amorphophilus decasilvi has a rich history that dates back to its discovery in the lush rainforests of Indonesia. The plant was first documented by Western botanists in the early 19th century. It quickly captured the interest of plant enthusiasts and scientists due to its unique flowering structure and its role in the local ecosystem. Botanical explorers, intrigued by the plant's peculiar characteristics, collected specimens to study its biology and reproductive mechanisms. Early illustrations and journals from these explorers provide a glimpse into the plant's natural habitat and its significance to indigenous cultures. Locals have long recognized the plant's unique features and its occasional use in traditional medicine. Modern research continues to explore Amorphophilus decasilva's ecological importance and potential applications. Studies on its pollination strategies and growth patterns contribute valuable insights into the adaptability and resilience of tropical plants. Amorphophilus decasilvi has been a subject of fascination for botanists for centuries. Discovered in the rich biodiversity of Indonesia, it has been studied for its unique adaptations and reproductive strategies. Historical records and botanical illustrations showcase its majestic presence earning it a place of honor in plant history. Here are some fun facts about Amorphophilus decasilvi. Did you know that its inflorescence can reach up to 2 meters in height? And despite its imposing size, it only blooms for a few days each year, making it a rare sight in nature. Additionally, the plant emits a unique scent to attract pollinators, often described as a mix of sweet and foul odors. Amorphophilus decasilvi also holds significant botanical importance. 
Studied by botanists for its unique adaptations and reproductive strategies, it contributes to our understanding of tropical biodiversity and ecosystem dynamics. Exciting news for plant enthusiasts! You can now bring home your very own Amorphophilus Deca Sylvi. Visit our website at javoniskaleflora.id to explore our collection and add this extraordinary plant to your garden. Limited stock available, so don't miss out. Whether you're an avid collector or a curious gardener, Amorphophilus Deca Sylvi is a plant that never fails to impress. Its majestic presence and unique characteristics make it a crown jewel of any exotic plant collection. Thanks for joining us on this botanical journey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to Yvonniska L. Flora for more exciting plant content. And leave a comment below with your experiences or questions about growing Amorphophilus Deca Sylvie. Until next time, happy gardening.